What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Token Black, back with another episode of Black on the Res. Today we're talking about Coinbase. Well, not Coinbase specifically, but Coinbase Wallet. Of, uh, I hate it. Coinbase Wallet is, uh, in theory, it's a great concept. Coinbase, you know, then you have Coinbase Wallet to hold all your crypto. Good things about it is you can connect it to your Coinbase Wallet. Um, you can hold all your crypto and NFTs, which is great concept. But the one big caveat to it, and the biggest downside to it, is the fees. I'm not talking about small fees, I'm talking about huge fees. Now, when trying to buy crypto with small amounts, say under $100 or something like that, you get this pop-up that says, you need to you need more money because the minor fees are too high. That is the downside. The bigger uh, downside to fees is that transferring into the wallet is okay, but when you try to transfer out of the wallet, the fees you have to pay are sometimes more than what you have in your crypto. So it's like, if you're only trying to um, transfer small amounts, you almost have to put more money into the wallet in order to get your crypto out, which is, I mean, defeats the whole purpose. It's just the whole money. And I think if you're doing less than a hundred bucks, then it's not really worth it. Right. Say over a hundred dollars. I haven't really done transactions over a hundred dollars. I just did a little bit to test it out. But the fees are ginormous. I would say avoid Coinbase wallet. I mean, even if you go look at the reviews, they're terrible. They talk about the fees. The fees are big I know most of my listeners aren't millionaires or hundred thousand heirs they just want to make some extra money on the side if they become millionaires off crypto great but Coinbase wallet I give it two thumbs down it's terrible if you have large amounts, say a thousand over a thousand bucks, eh, then those fees, and if you're not going to be transferring in and out or buying new crypto, then the fees aren't so bad. But if you, like most investors and most um, crypto enthusiasts, crypto maniacs, you're going to be doing like a lot of trading, a lot of mm, depositing, mm, taking out, whatever you want to call it, how you avoid you want to do it. Those fees are going to eat you up. They're like Coinbase Wallet is like the Bank of America. Of crypto wallets that makes sense look up Bank of America but yeah Coinbase wallet I have a little bit of crypto in it I'd say about 50 bucks worth um, it's essentially just stuck in there 
because I would need more money, put more money in it just to get the 50 bucks out. And it's not worth it. So I just leave it in there. It's about 50 bucks worth of Ethereum. I'll leave it in there. You know, who knows? Ethereum might hit $100,000 one day. But Coinbase Wallet, I would avoid it. And as always, crypto maniacs, don't invest more than you can afford to lose. Don't invest the house, not the kids' college savings funds. But invest to make some extra cash. Crypto maniacs, token black, signing out. <laughs>